Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Showcase on Neo. So, we're on to weapons finally. Now you probably beg the question, why do specifically just styles and firearms? Why? Because it makes these videos shorter. Now that I've already done styles, I don't have to showcase every animation for every sword and spear, etc. Because you've already seen them. If you haven't seen them, I've already made a video on it. It makes these videos individually shorter, but only by two minutes. There'll be a lot more of these in styles. So, what weapon did I start with? Well, I thought about doing a weapon and armor set, but then, like, no. I should start with the probably most popular and probably the first unique weapon you get. Which is what? Well, it's a unique individual weapon not tied to an armor set. Rikari, as the Japanese pronounce it, I believe. So yes, I don't need to really need to explain why it's unique. I'm pretty sure at a glance you can tell. I hope. <laughs> But yes, it's the first unique sword you get. The funny thing is, when you first see it, you don't wield it. It's not used against you either. It's actually wielded by one of the very few companions you get in the game. For, for, for a level anyway, and that's Ginshoyo Tachibana. I'm pretty sure I butchered her name, although I tried. So yes, she will assist you in a mission or two. And she'll help you. And even though she's frail in battle, not lasting very long and often need help, she can definitely fuck up your opponents. That much is stated to be true, although if it's her or the blade is remain to be seen. Hmm. Now, going on to the lore of the Rikari, famed sword is to be used by the Tachibana Dosio, father of Ginjiro Tachibana, to slice a bolt of lightning in two. In 1848, the Dosun bolt napped beneath a tree in his home of Binyo. Mind so many butchered names. And a sudden storm swept in, and Dosu intercepted a lightning bolt with his sword, Chidori. In reality, of course, even the finest swordsman couldn't possibly cut a bolt of lightning. Well, you don't know that. Maybe, maybe it's just not a good enough sword. Maybe, <laughs> whatever. Thus, may interrupting the legend of as Dosu facing off against the yokai, such as Nu or Riju. Oh, so many butchered names. Whatever the case, Dosu renamed his sword Rikari. Or Rikei, Lightning Slicer. Thereafter, and cherished as a family treasure. It passed through his daughter, Ginjio, and then he died. It is said that she too told of slicing lightning to her handmaidens, making she may have faced Yokai as well. Well, in this game, that becomes fact. But yes, this actually is a true tale. Now, the Chidori, uh, some anime fans may recognize that, but otherwise, yes, it is a true story. As true stories gets, anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's go on to the stats. Now, I have my level 102 Rikari. I've used it quite well, and I've remade it a couple of times when I needed the lightning effect. And we can see that we get a couple things. For we get the stats of lightning itself. We also got the chance of our change to attack. This is what scales off of our character itself, our spirit, so that's extra attack based on your spirit. Now, I'll ignore the other stats because their other stats aren't actually built with the weapon. We'll go down to the more down. Now, we'll ignore attack multiplayer as well because, again, these weapons can be remade infinitely and their attack scrabble moves along with you. But the rest of the stuff does not. So, we also get a buff from Heart. Now, if you leveled up, you notice that Heart is related to Sword, so the more Heart you have, the better your damage. But it also scales off Strength and Skill as well. Although not nearly as well at D plus and C plus. But oh well. And I guess the also the break and parry. Well, the parry remains the same. But the break all levels up with you. Again, with the as the sword gets stronger as you remake it and soul forge and so, so on and so forth. Now, if you don't want to find off dead people, you can make your own. When you do acquire it, you get the smithing text, which can be handed off to the blacksmiths. And all I need is Takahagame and the devil's or demon's horn. And you get plenty of demon horns if you play enough. <laughs> so the manufacturing cost is actually quite low. And as I mentioned earlier, you get the lightning and the change to it, or you know, change to attack based on spirit. That's the standard for this weapon. The rest of the stats vary depending on your rarity. So pretty cheap to manufacture, to be honest. Pretty cheap. Now, if you're curious, here's my stats. That's what my stats is at the moment. This will change video to video as I get stronger. 
Now, looking at my stats, I do have a high amount of spirit, and it's not because of the Rikari itself. It's because there's a lot of guardian spirits that require high spirit points to use their full effect, which I'll get into in another video. But otherwise, I do have a lot of skill and plenty of heart. They're among my top ball attributes here. Now, before we get into performance or any showing off, I do have the one problem with this weapon. As much as it looks awesome, here I'll show you some audio to let you listen. Pretty awesome, right? Well, it's awesome the first time. A bit obnoxious the hundred hundredth time. <laughs> I find that electricity very annoying. But annoying effects aside, what are the benefits of lightning? Well, as you see here, it adds to damage. You can see it's not very much, but it is definitely there. It's roughly 10% of your damage, or maybe 5%, more like it. Yeah, around 5% range. But well, it's powerful enough, but that's not really the reason anyone uses lightning. If you chose to go quick attacks and have weapons that are maybe more DPS oriented, you can eventually build up this electricity, or whatever you call it, lightning effect, until enemies fully effective with it, he moves notably much slower, making him actually trivial to fight. As you can see here, this raven is very, very slow and easily dispatched now. <laughs> Other than that, the effects of lightning have a greater effect on some opponents than others, whether they be water-based or even stone. Maybe if you seen Tachibana, you will have to sort against these sent well, sentinels. You know that they're quite weak against lightning. Now onto the pros and cons of Rikuri. For the pros, we have that lightning effect that's always active in the weapon. Always. Also, always active is it scales off your spirit. That's always the case. And a lightning it can cause slowdown of the opponent. I'm not sure to properly word that one. It slows the enemy down. Anyway, on the cons. There aren't really too many cons, but I will have to say it is obnoxious. The sound, anyway. The constant lightning stream. Like I said, on the hundredth time, or even greater, it's obnoxious the sound is. <laughs> and that is the only real con here, to be honest. Everything else is pretty good. Now, for score, it is individual weapons, so it's a bit of hard to score, because I can't score damage, because everything scales. So yes, and I can't do range, because all the swords are the same range. I've already covered that in my styles, in the style videos I've already done. So I'll go over the specific things for these weapons. So the scaling, the effects, and anything else. Miscellaneous will and trail. For scaling, though, I'll give it 8 out of 10. It's excellent scale, especially if it scales off your spirit, which you should have in the first place anyway. And a lot of weapons don't have that. Now for effects like the lightning, which is pretty damn good, and it's on a sword. You now I will give that a 7 out of 10. Because you can easily flick that lightning, or that slowdown. For Misk, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. You get it early in the game, and the manufacturing of it is actually relatively very cheap. So that's pretty good. So in total, I give the recurry 22 out of 30. It's an excellent weapon. Very good. Very nice, too. And that concludes that review. Now, I'd like to ask you something. Do you think I did this review justice? Did it okay? I'm still a bit unsure about how I did this one. I feel like I could have done something better, but I can't quite put my finger on it. If you got any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If not, then I'll proceed how I am. Now it's been just a showcase for Taylor. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.